Yeah. Hi, good morning. Today we are going to deal with the lesson motion. Uh, motion comes under the subject called kinematics. Kinematics and dynamics. The movement of the the movement of the objects are studied under these two branches of mechanics. Motion simply means movement of the body. The motion of the body is studied under two types: kinematics and dynamics. Motion is simply the movement of the body, and when you are talking about the movement of the body by referring only to its movement, its speed, and its acceleration, all the topics come under kinematics. And dynamics is when you talk about the cause of the motion. That means what caused the object to move. Such things you study under dynamics. In kinematics, you only study the movement of the body. You don't study anything about the cause of the movement. The cause of the movement is what we call as force, which you have seen in the eighth class, first lesson. That is, force is the cause of the motion. And in Greek, the English word force in Greek is written as dyne. Dyne means force, mix means measurement. So the measurement of forces is called dynamics, and dynamics basically you know means that you are going to study about the forces. The force is the cause of the motion, which you have learned in already in eighth uh, class. The force means push or pull. When you are pushing or pulling something, it causes an object to move. So when you refer to the cause of the motion, the subject you are dealing with is dynamics. And in kinematics, you only study about the object is at rest, the object is moving, the object has some speed, the object speed is increasing, the object speed is decreasing. That's all. That only you study about kinematics. You don't study anything about the cause of the motion. That means you don't study anything about what caused the object to move. So kind simply means motion. Kind means motion. That is movement. Matrix is again measurement. Measurement of motion is kinematics. Measurement of motion without studying. So these two together deal about the movement of the whole object. That means the movement of the object and what causes the movement of the object. That is force. So these two together is called as mechanics. And mechanics is the first lesson for your inter also. So basic in a basic uh, things that you learn in mechanics are all used in your higher classes also. And it forms a basis for your engineering studies also and everything. And mechanics is a very important chapter because not only for your engineering or physics or mathematics, it is for all kinds of competitive exams also which have no connection to physics at all. That means you will see mechanics questions, some of the school level mechanics questions, even in band exams, IAS exams and all such stuff. So learning mechanics in school level is very very important. And basically mechanics as I said simply means the movement of the objects. So in kinematics we are dealing only with the movement of the object. And when we say movement of the object, when we get, when we say movement of the object, uh, basically you learn this too. Distance and displacement. Distance simply means like how much distance the object moves. And displacement is a little bit uh, more complicated for a beginner to understand. But uh, in measurement of motion, this is more convenient 
than this or distance how we represent is a point moved from A to B. The, uh, some particle moved from A to B that is point A let us say you started at school after school you are returning to home and in the middle you went roaming with the friends you went to some shop you got something and then you played cricket and then you reached home and this is the distance moved and for all of this process let's say you take an half an hour and displacement what how we write displacement is this you started at school you ended at home and the time taken to reach from here to here is half an hour and in the middle whatever is happened see out of these two which one represents the reality what happened with this one or this one this one right this is a reality this is what is happening you roam with your friends you went to shop you played cricket you went home and displacement we simply represent you disappeared here you appeared here and it took half an hour that's all that is what you represent as displacement displacement means your place changed from a to b your position changed from a to b so that is what we say the change in position is called displacement and it is always represented by a straight line whereas distance is your real actual path traveled so it can be in whatever the way you want okay and the, the definition the meaning of the word itself explains it clearly when you think this word in your mind displacement which means if place is changed there is displacement if place is not changed no displacement for example you started from here you went here let us say 5 meters and then you return back here 5 meters so forward you went forward you went 5 meters backward you went 5 meters now what is the total distance traveled the total distance traveled is 10 right 10 meters so that is you went 5 meters forward 5 meters backward so this is 10 meters distance traveled now about the displacement, see, you went forward and turned back to the same position where you started. Therefore, did your place change? Your place did not change, right? Wherever you started, there only you ended up. That means your place did not change, which means displacement is zero. So that is the difference between distance and displacement. Displacement represents the actual path traveled by the body. Where uh, sorry, distance represents the actual path traveled by the body, whereas displacement is just the change in position from one place to another represented by a straight line. We'll see few examples more to see the difference between distance and displacement. Let us say you started at a point and you are moving around a circular path. You started here and you came back to your same point. Now the distance traveled would be the actual path you travel, that is the total distance you move from A to B. And the radius of the circular path is, let us say, 17 meters. Now, what would be the distance and what would be the displacement? We will write distance as B and displacement as S. Okay. Now, what is the distance traveled? Try to think and calculate. Distance in the sense, the total distance moved from a to B. And now of course A and B are the same points because you started at here and ended up also here. Therefore, A and B are the same point now. So distance travel will be what from here to here. Here to here in the sense what is this one called? This is the circumference of the circle which has a radius of 17 meters. So what do we write here? Distance travel is 2 pi r where radius is 17 meters. So this is 2 pi into 17 meters. So this is the distance travel. And about displacement, you started at A and again you ended at A. Okay. Therefore, your change in place or your change in position is zero. Therefore, the displacement is zero meters. We'll take one more example. This time you will see the particle move from A to 
B that is a half cycle. Displacement and 